doing here is I'm videotaping what I think is the sun, but uh, there is uh, something really peculiar here going on. Uh, I'm using a red piece of uh, uh, this filter plastic I had bought at one time for uh, doing aquaphonic uh, growing of lettuce and stuff that I was trying to do and I uh, wanted to try out different spectrum so I got this here red and I got some blue uh, clear uh, well you can see through it but look at this this is the Sun supposedly here I will to get this up to YouTube as quick as I can because from what I see it's uh it's uh, got my hair standing on end so uh, fellas guys and gals I hope things are going well with you right now shortly here I don't think it's going to be keep your eyes open for August 31st to September 1st you might see the uh, sign of the Son of Man coming at that time uh, till then I say peace so hello my friends it's uh, February 1st 2016 and before I start, I like to play this uh, very short video from BBC, uh, and we will see a context, and I will continue shortly after this video. Just I hope uh, it will play. Our system is 4.6 billion years old and made up of eight planets, but that might not be the case after all. American astronomers say they believe that there is a new ninth planet orbiting the Sun billions of miles beyond Neptune. The mysterious world, nicknamed Planet Nine, is thought to be made up of a lot of different gas bodies and similar to Uranus and Neptune. The scientists have not observed the object directly yet, but say it's a planet because of the way other things move around it. By studying these rocks that orbit around the sun, we know how they should move, but what we can see is they're actually not moving how we expect them to be moving. And the only way we can explain that is by the presence of another really big... So, uh, I think that's enough. Uh, we'll move just down, back. Uh, because uh, it's look like uh, all the astronomers around our world no, the planet X is here. It's not surprise. It's absolutely normal. <laughs> Everyone is smart now. Everyone has the answer. They know why it's everything happening right now. But why I do this video? If you do talk with a single astronomer one year ago, they will they will look up to you like if you are a crazy crazy man just like this and what's what is changed now just a pair of astronomers which are working for the NASA come out just two weeks ago with the announcement of of a huge planet outside of our solar system then now we do see in every country around our world this is example this is the English but I watched it in my country which, which is Czech Republic as well with other astronomers and they are talking yes we do have uh, highly possibly a planet near our solar system if not even in our system solar system of course mean everyone they do pretending like if it's not nothing new actually it's normal we do have one more huge mega planet here uh, which I come which make me do a conclusion how it's work our science and how work the astronomers 
they are all just repeaters. They do waiting for one pair of astronomers which are working at NASA to say yes we do have one more planet here and it's extraordinary, extra big and it's coming. And now all the astronomers around our world are saying just the same. The same. That's why I call them the repeaters. And what uh, actually it's other thing what I will talk, which is even maybe much more horrible, the same thing is happening uh, with our man-made global warming uh, government th uh, theory because some uh, mainstream group of uh, climatology scientists says yes uh, global warming is because humans are we are uh, too many CO2 and too many cars and too many factories and we are that's why it's our planet is changing and all the climatologists all around the world just admitting it except some I posted a video before uh, not everyone but the absolutely majority it's just admitting it if they agree yeah our climate is changed because humans why? Because they are the repeaters. One group supported by government saying this, then rest of the world, scientific world, is just repeating. The, this is disaster. This is horrible. It's like uh, no one have any more free mind. They are all just the repeaters. This is so, so horrible in my point of view. So it's working, our science around our planet, around our globe. This is shocked for me. You know, look how they look like. It's normal, it's not a surprise. They knew it's just a big planet in our solar system, not a surprise. They knew it. But really, if they talk to them one year ago, they will probably think they will send you in the psychiatric. Oh, shit. This is my point of view. And the other way, what I will talk more. I have to apologize because I was uh, really busy now last two days, I think, uh, because I tried to help my friend because he was convinced by other video maker here on YouTube to shoot down video because it's uh, because it's not just the other video maker just, just says it's my don't use it don't touch it it's only my childish and I just try to spend some words for my friend but this is other way this other channel uh, as he convinced my friend he's actually a newcomer on this uh, Nibiru Planet X uh, research and uh, actually it's now it's the good time to make it money on this research because uh, now the scientists actually admitting the existence of this planet I will try to I will put link uh, on this article actually and uh, I will try to scroll down and you have to, you, here you can read all the points uh, its effects of, uh, on other objects in space and they do describing here in it's on, it's on the BBC uh, I will just 
number eight it's almost definitely exists it's just zero 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 seven percent or chance one to fifty thousand that this planet nine in real name planet X do, uh, do not exist only one to fifteen thousand chance it's do not exist uh, so it's almost almost definitely sure it's here they do admitting it they almost definitely sure for sure but back uh, what I talk about uh, it's now very easy to make money on uh, this planet X Nibiru research because now we do have the support for the scientists right now but uh, you know maybe I'm just too tired because I I do try to warn people and I do working on this research uh, like uh, six or seven years ago I start with it and uh, I hear so many times I'm crazy and uh, and actually what's happened yesterday this uh, other man from the other channel he called me debunker <laughs> This this uh, this actually shock. I will. I was shocked. I absolutely. I think. I. D this is unbelievable for me. If someone say, I am the debunker of Planet X Nibiru. I, this is crazy for me. I, uh, I do find so many hairs for the truth. It's coming out. And to yesterday, just someone says me, I am the debunker of Planet X so my craziness uh, and so I spent so many time on just on this conflict on YouTube and uh, this make me as well confuse uh, this confusing me because even this it's uh, showing me how is our civilization lost because if people try to make money over on everything and it's no matter it's if you will save uh, humans lives it's only about money and uh, I'm just tired I'm confused and I don't want to give up but sometimes I do just think about leave this new people which will coming now and they will do pretending like if they are great researchers and and you will see by I make I make sure you will see by every under this great researchers everyone will sailing book or put adv advertisements on channel and videos we'll see how is it about just about the money and nothing else sorry people I I do have my problem to us everyone else and even I'm going to be tired sometime only what I will say before I finish be patient uh, one more thing I won't I promise so uh, I will do uh, some uh, safe areas or something before before it something happened you should know how to protect yourself and but I realize I do I don't want to put my head on this subject because even if you if I do give you this best option best position this is not the guarantee only what I can do I will I will do I will give you this basics of course get away from oceans from sea from great lakes from rivers even because of course the flooding it's really great danger you can see it's almost every day now and of course if you choosing high grounds chose is it 
if you do see a rocky ground this is the safest high ground because be aware on the landslide moon slides as well be aware on the high high speed wind because during possible pole shift the minimum speed of wind it's the 500 miles per hour and more and I just don't stay outside this is just the basics but everyone need be lucky anyway if you are on the safest place on the world everyone need a luck to survive it thank you for watching my friends hopefully I will continue see you bye